Okay, so I'm here. I don't know how to start this. But I think it needs to be said. Because what I just experienced is nothing compared to what some people experience. And no one deserves to be have to go through this sort of thing. make this short and I gotta make it quiet because it's the middle of the night and I just woke up after a nightmare a nightmare in which I had ended up in hell why because earlier tonight I was crying I was panicked because I have been told so many times in the last five months that I'm gonna end up in hell it's been implied in all the ways you could possibly think it would be implied. Stop thinking that way or you're going to end up in hell. I'll pray for you because I don't want you to end up in hell. Love the sinner, hate the sin, all this sort of crap. Okay? I've been told all of this and why? Because what I believe in what I stand for. I stand by people who don't have anybody else to stand by. Them. And I get told that I'm going to end up in hell. I am an emotionally unstable person. I don't need to hear any of this. It makes me panic. Earlier tonight, I couldn't type. I could hardly breathe. I couldn't think straight. I was shaking. I couldn't stop crying. And why? Because somebody had just implied that I was going to end up in hell and that was less straw. I was going to... That was it. Okay? It's what I stand for. Nobody deserves to be treated like this. Understand me right now. What I go through is nothing. I'm told what I'm told. Be I stand up for gays, for bisexuals, for transsexuals, for people who don't have anybody else to stand up for them. Especially the Christian ones who are harassed and tormented more than their atheist counterparts. I stand by them and I get bashed over the head for it. And nightmares and panic attacks because I'm told that I'm gonna end up in hell just like them for who they are. Did, what I go through is nothing compared to what they go through every day of their lives. Being told they can end up in hell because of who they are, what they feel, what they believe. No one, and when I say no one, I mean no one, deserves to be treated in such a way that they live their lives in fear, that they distrust. Christians that they think, that they feel inferior, that they feel worthless. Nobody deserves to feel like that at all. And if this is bad quality recording, I'm sorry. I hate public speaking. Even if it's a camera, talking to people. I don't like talking to people on the phone about how I feel for crying out loud. And I'm making this video not because I want to, because quite frankly, I am terrified of bringing this video up. I'm putting it up because people need to hear this. I'm talking to you as a human being to another human being about how they should treat other human beings. Don't you dare bring the biblical morals into this because I don't care. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the biblical moral crap. You can argue that till the house come home. I'm talking about how you're supposed to treat other human beings. And let me tell you right now, all the crap I've seen floating around Facebook alone is not how you treat human beings. You do not tell human beings that they're going to end up in hell for what they believe and what they think when they told you over and over again that they're Christians. You do not call people out for being open about how insecure they are and tell them that they're being selfish, arrogant, whiny little brats because they're venting their frustration to friends on their Facebook page. You don't treat people like that. You don't tell people if they're arrogant or selfish or going to hell or whiny or anything like that because of how they feel and what their emotions are and how they think it is not right. You wanna know why it's not right? Because people like me and people like hundreds of other people out there and people like the friends I have on my Facebook list, 
when I hear certain other people's views on suicide or self-worth or compliments or how or sexual orientation, I know people who end up suicidal, who end up depressed, who end up having nightmares night after night after night, a freaking night. Why? Because of something they were told. By someone they were supposed to be friends with. By a Christian. No one should have to be treated like that. No one should have to go through that. I'm one of those people. I've had people tell me when I'm suicidal months ago. Don't kill yourself. You're going to end up in hell if you do. It's a sin. You're going to go to hell if you kill yourself. That really makes me feel better. That really, really makes me feel better. Okay. If you cut yourself, you're... You're sinning if you cut yourself. Because God doesn't like that. There's this verse that says you're not supposed to cut yourself. Let's make somebody who's already suffering feel worse than they already feel. Because that's going to solve everything, right? Because that's what Christians do. Let's make somebody feel worse than they already do and expect that to fix them. Right? Let's tell somebody they're sitting or that they're going to go to hell or if they do such and such, then God's going to hate them. Let's condemn them for what they're feeling so they feel even worse. And then when something happens and they end up killing themselves or ending up in the hospital, we don't have to take any of the blame for it, even though we were the ones that drove them to it. And I can say this with perfect, perfect legibility because I am one of those people who end up wanting to kill themselves because of some idiot on Facebook who calls himself a Christian and told me things about how horrible I was and how I was going to end up in hell for certain things. I don't know what this is. I don't know how it's turning out. I don't know if you can even hear me. It's rambly, I know. I'm sorry. I, it's a, an impromptu thing. The bottom line is, I'm telling you right now, treat people with kindness, love, compassion, and respect. Do not tell them they're going to hell for their own compassion and love and respect. Treat people the way you would want to be treated with kindness, compassion, and love. It's not that freaking hard. And you'll save a lot of people a lot of bloody panic attacks and nightmares and tears and self-harm if you just treat people with kindness. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard if you just get over yourself or your arrogant, hypocritical little views and take a minute to step into somebody else's damn shoes and see things the way they see them. Okay? Get yourself out of your conceited head for five minutes. Get into somebody else's skin and walk around in it. Feel what they feel and then, then you have the right to tell them whatever you want to tell them. Chances are you won't want to, but you still know how much it hurts. Spend a day in the life of somebody else in their mind, in their conflicted, tormented mind. Feel their tears when they cry over something that some fool told them. Told them they're not going to be worth anything. That they don't deserve a family because of who they think, how they think, how they feel. Go through a night of panic attacks and nightmares of being locked in a freaking cage because you love someone of the same gender. And go through a nightmare of being locked in a cage in your dream where the fence is like 20 feet high and electric divide so you can't get out and left there to starve to death because of some, that you love somebody of the same gender all because of something some pastor said about how that's what, how all gays should be treated is locked into a freaking cage with an electrified fence is left to starve to death have a nightmare about that wake up and screaming crying panicked and tell me then that you will be able to go and tell somebody that they are a horrible person and a sinner and going to hell for how they feel after going through something like that. 
I can speak on that with complete certainty. Because not, I have had that nightmare, not that I was the one in the cage, because I'm not bisexual, I'm not gay. I wouldn't be ashamed of it if I was, because I know people who wouldn't bash on me for it, but I'm not going into that, that's not the discussion. But I had a nightmare one time that somebody I love very freaking much, more than anybody else here could even possibly know, who is also happens to be identify with the LGBTQ community. I have a nightmare about them locked in a freaking cage. With the electrified cage, unable to get out, starving to death, and I was standing on the outside and unable to do anything. Watching this person I love so much die. Just because they have the ability to love somebody of the same gender. I woke up screaming and crying and panicked because I was afraid that I would wake up in the morning and go on Facebook and find that this person was gone and dead or somewhere trapped. You can have a nightmare like that and you cannot tell somebody that they're going to end up in hell for this because you know what it's like to be that scared, to feel that worthless, to feel like you've got no chance in life. Why it's wrong to tell somebody that they're going to go to hell for how they feel. Because it causes all this pain that you can never imagine. Because you're stuck up there on your silver tower with your white horse. And you think you're perfect. Nobody can touch you. Nobody can condemn you because damn if you aren't perfect. And all those people down there are inferior and you can tell them they're going to hell and you're completely justified. And you're completely detached from any pain that you might be feeling, any panic, any tears. And you know what? I'm about to cry again because I'm thinking about all the nightmares and stuff, so I'm gonna end this here. I might not even upload this, but if I do, I hope people don't put this off as drama because I am sick to death of people telling me when I try to speak to them about something I am very passionate about that I'm being dramatic. Because I'm not. I'm passionate about something means a lot. I'm just going to tell you one more time, be kind to other people and love them and just be compassionate and stop condemning them. God will do that in his own time if he sees fit. It's not your place. It's not your place to cause all this agony to people just because of their sexual orientation or the fact that they have a mental illness. It's not up to you. You have no right be causing people this much pain. Ever. Understand that. I'm gonna go to bed. It's late. I'm gonna try to get to sleep again. Hopefully I won't have any more nightmares. Just think about what I said about being kind and compassionate and loving is to stop condemning people. Just stop. And if I ever see it going on again, Know that I'm not going to stay silent just because somebody's going to tell me I'm going to end up in hell for it. Because that's what I do. I stand up for people who get treated like this every single damn day. And go through these nightmares, the tears, these nights, sleepless nights of worrying and thinking you're worthless and wanting to just dig a knife into your arm. I stand up for those people. Whether you like it or not, whether whoever's watching this likes it or not. I'm not changing. I'm going to continue to protect the people that need protecting, whether anybody likes it or not, because that's who I am. I don't care what you say to me. You can tell me I'm going to hell all I want. You can keep telling me that I'm wrong. I'm not changing. Because I know what it's like to be on the receiving end of this, and I know how to love and respect people for who they are and let God handle the rest, just like everybody else should be doing. Listen to what I'm saying in this video. Just listen for one minute. Don't shut your brain off and listen to what somebody else is saying. You can complain about it all you want after you finish it. I just want you to listen. Listen to what I said. Think about it for five minutes. And then you can go back to whatever it is you think about. Burning people at the stake or whatever. For being heretics or whatever you want. 
Good night. God bless every single one of you. Every single one. I love you all. I might not always agree with everybody, but I love every single one of you. Just like you should be loved. And I will see you around. Um, good night. God bless. See you around.